a tough press in words, but you already qualified in race. What was the main focus of you competing in such a race? For me, it's a, it's a, it's a pleasure to uh, come here again and rest here in, uh, uh, in Los Angeles and uh, it's a really fantastic race, especially uh, coming back from the marathon debut where things didn't go well. And uh, it, it is really it's amazing to see that I can still run under, under 13 minutes on the 5K. It, it gives me a uh, privilege uh, to, see that, to see that my preparations for the Olympic Games Again, to defend the title is on a ship. Uh, after USA, where two was that you mean that you have many of these races to test you before you go for the Olympics? For me, always, uh, I always like to do uh, not so many things. Uh, I will do like uh, more one race or two races, but I think I will do only one. And I, I, I could do the Oslo Diamond League as my last uh, preparation for the Olympic Games. And I don't think I need more of this. How do you think the American runners are coming along now, like Grant Fisher? They, they didn't used to be competition for Africans, and now they, they look like they are. Uh, for me, really, uh, what is very important is that uh, you see that the sport is growing. It, it, it really shows that uh, the sport is really growing in a better way. But we can have uh, diversity, inclusivity in diversity, and uh, that gives the sport more publicity. And uh, I really like that. And uh, it's good to see that more of uh, the young boys are coming up to step up their efforts and uh, take on from where we have uh, we've left. So uh, what is very important is that um, more and more people are getting inspired from all walks of life, from different parts of uh, the world. And it's really shows that the sport is going better and better. Do you have to worry about Americans now? Yeah, that. <laughs> Yeah, you, you you don't have to really like um, you really have to, everybody who qualifies for the Olympic Games. You really have to respect them in this world because it's not really guys. It's not really like a, a simple task. You you you, you, you can look at like, like the 10k. It's really like 37 or one. That's fast. That's that's almost like uh, you cannot find most people getting the standard. So for for me, I really see that it's really a privilege to. To have computers in uh, caliber. And Joshua, you're running in Oslo, right? Yeah. We yeah. hear the pace is going to go quite fast there. Do you think that's going to be a world record attempt? I don't know. I just I will, I will just be I will, I, will, I will be just following the pace because uh, I, I don't know who is going to run that, but uh, I will wish that one the best of luck because it's really for me. I wouldn't want to go fast, especially being the Olympic year. Just to get the few things right, especially to. That, 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 that feel of the, the last lap. And, and looking towards the Olympics, are you planning the double, five and ten? Yeah, it's a plan. The plan is to do it at ten and five. But uh, most importantly, I want to win a 10k. That's my special distance. Hmm. If I will win the 10k, I, I don't care about the 5k, but I want to win the 10k. And just looking back on the world cross country, like that day, obviously you, you didn't get what you wanted, I'm sure. But like, was there anything you could point to? Had preparations gone well, or was it just not click on the day fully? Yeah, for me, um, like I said previously, when I did the marathon, I, when I took on the challenge, it was something that uh, I learned a lot, though I didn't succeed in the beginning. But obviously, in the future, it, it, it has given me like um, enough lessons of what I need to do right uh, if I'm to be a successful uh, marathoner. But um, that goes without saying that uh, when I embarked on qualifying again for the 10K to have the Olympic standard, I, it, it meant that um, I could not have the perfect conditions for the World Cross Country. Because I did like uh, uh, the race in, in, in Spain, Laredo, which was like two weeks to the World Cross Country. But I'm not, I'm not regretting about anything. Whatever happened, I think I have to be grateful that uh, I was still able to compete amongst, uh, like, uh, I, I still get my best. That's why it's very important. If you don't get the result you wanted, but as long as you gave your all, that's very important. And you spoke about the 10K in Paris. Are you confident you can win the gold there? Yeah. Good stuff. Thank you. Thank you.